They seek to establish systems of government based on the regimentation of all human beings by a handful of individual rulers who seize power by force. Yes, these men and their hypnotized followers call this a new order. It is not new, and it is not order. What about the time he cursed the fig tree? You know, pious Christians sometimes make me very angry. They don't even know Christianity. They don't know the man they're following. He was a revolutionary. He was a dangerous man. And by God, so am I. And so should you be. This country was founded by dangerous men. And the moment the people in this country cease to be dangerous men, it's going to be the day we cease to have a country. Their whole goal with this philosophy is to teach all men and women that the only end of life is to seek the utmost pleasure and happiness that you can get out of it because when you die there's nothing else. That's what they teach. That's what they want you to be. They don't want laws against sexual promiscuity. That's why they don't want families. That's why they don't want marriage. That's why they encourage homosexuality. There's a method to their madness. There's really not much method to yours. Because you're operating from a place of ignorance. And until you change that, you're going to be bumbling around, bumping into each other, saying and doing the wrong things, not understanding the nature of your en enemy. And if you don't understand the nature of your enemy and the weapons they use, you cannot fight that enemy. Today, we all come together with one common goal in mind. Be patriots, be willing to take a peaceful stand to show the world that fairness Justice and freedom are more than just words to us. They are a way of life, which at this current pace our children and grandchildren may never know. What's up, folks? I'm a patriot. I think you guys uh, should learn about CERN, and you should be concerned about CERN. Uh, this place ain't no fucking joke. All right, people think I'm kidding about it. Well, am I fucking kidding? Have you seen the videos from CERN? These kooky motherfuckers are charging particles and shooting them into each other at light speed. Putting ripples in the airwaves. You know what the fuck that does, moron? I mean, shit, you shouldn't even have to be told uh, what... I mean, common sense here. So, I was talking about they got an American one. Uh, if you don't know what CERN is, it's a Hadron Collider 17 miles long. It's the biggest thing ever built in human history. It's on the border of Switzerland and France. They collide particles together at light speeds. It opens other dimensions. Portals in time. Man, you people have no idea what the fuck is out there. Or what these crazy fucking lunatics are doing and bringing into this dimension. You understand? They fucking said that they could bring something through from another dimension. They admitted that. With their live cameras. Independent reporters had picked up fucking demons and their actual fucking face coming in. And some of them look like uh, the goddess Kali. And look who they got right outside their front door. Shiva. God of destruction. They say they gotta destroy a fucking one place to rebuild another one better. And you know Stephen Hawking told them, hey, I wouldn't mess around with that. 
they're going to do it anyways. And they did it. Nobody knows really what the fuck happened, but uh, according to the Bible, it opened the gate to hell. I believe that one. And uh, the fucking staff. They do a dance of destruction before they go on their ship. It's real fucking cute. You should see it. It's online. If I remember, I'll put it down there in the description. But these people are mad fucking scientists. Literally. And uh, apparently, they've got one in the U.S. So, uh, yeah, I haven't checked this out yet. Gosh, I don't want to, I don't think. Crazy how they just, just come right out with shit now. You know, no big deal. Just doing some uh, tests that may, may or may not destroy the fucking universe. And suck us all into a black hole. No worries, folks. Nothing to see here. Just some mad fucking scientist doing some testing. With all of our fucking lives in jeopardy. Bet your ass I'm gonna... I'm gonna look into this shit right now. This ain't no fucking joke, man. Like, people think I'm fucking making it. Look at this shit. What the fuck is that shit? And people are saying the fucking ghosts or demons, whatever, on the, uh, on the television camera that CERN had is fake. Well, CERN put those photos out, and I believe Freedom Fighter 2127 already went over that. So. More craziness. People always sound crazy when telling what the crazy are doing. They are literally going to accelerate hundreds of millions of protons inside of the tubes that you can see there behind us to just beneath the speed of light then they're going to compress them down to a human hair's width and they're going to collide as many as 600 million particles per second this has never happened on earth before unless maybe it was when God spoke and brought all these particles together the first time uh, around so yeah there are there are some physicists concerned they, they there's been fears that we might open up some kind of a black hole uh, and yet that's actually kind of what they want to do and we can talk about that during the program They want to open a black hole and they want to see if they can send gravitons through it to communicate with the other side People listen These people are messing with Something they do not understand a lot of scientists that started working on this project They backed away and they said you know what? If you turn this thing on full power, we do not know what's going to happen. Number one, this thing could literally create a black hole. When those particles get to spinning, it creates such a humongous pneumatic, uh, magnetic field that from what I understand, it could literally put a hole right through the center of the Earth, right through the center of where it's sitting, put a hole right through the center of the Earth. It could start a black hole that we can't stop. And <laughs> The scientists tell them, hey, this could happen, and you know what they think? Well, it probably won't, so let's go ahead. Who are these people? I mean, this thing could destroy the entire planet, and they just think, well, let's turn it on. You never know. Yeah, the, the Higgs boson, the God particle that Zach mentioned, is one of the particles they're looking for. They're looking for quarks. They're looking for gravitons. They're... They want to know, uh, you know, how did God put this all together and can we take it apart? The, the Shiva deity that they've got, you know, uh, right outside the main offices there at CERN. Right. That's what it does. It does the cosmic dance. It's happening right now while you're sitting in this auditorium. It's in CERN, Switzerland. Now, you may not be aware of what's going on over there, but there's a thing over there that's called a Large Hadron Collider. And it is an accelerator. It accelerates particles and then brings them to the point of collision. So this Large Hadron Collider was started up just a few days ago. And it's still in the initial process of being brought online completely. 
You say, what in the world does something like that have to do with me and the Bible? It has a lot to do with you and the Bible. I cannot and will not attempt to speak as a physicist. It would make me look like a fool. My purpose this morning is to try to be a liaison between them and you. It's to try to take what's going on in that collider and break it down to where I can understand it and I can give it out so you can understand it to where it makes an application to your life and to this world as we know it today. For what is happening in that collider is an astounding thing. So I want to read something to you this morning from what's called a theoretical physicist. This man, his name is Stephen Hawking. He's well known throughout the world. Anyone that has anything to do with nuclear energy or has anything to do with physics knows this man. And he is one that some rate even on the level of Einstein and uh, of that level. And so I want to read to you what this man has to say about what's happening right now in CERN, Switzerland. Listen carefully. These are the words of Stephen Hawking. He recently warned the reactivation in March of CERN's Large Hadron Collider could pose grave dangers to our planet. The ultimate reality, check, we are warned. Hawking has come straight out and said, the God particle, and this is what you've heard referred to time and again as the Higgs boson particle, the God particle found by CERN could destroy the universe. Now let that settle in. This man is an atheist, and he says there is no God. Yet he says that what's happening right now in CERN, Switzerland, and I'll give you what they're trying to do in a moment, what's happening at this very minute in CERN, Switzerland, has the potential to destroy the universe. This is a theoretical physicist. Now, physicists come in all kinds of sizes. Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has also sounded the alarm in a hypothetical manner by telling anyone who might want to blow up a planet how to do so is this CERN's attempt to do so by attempting to recreate the Big Bang within a man-made structure. This has frightened Stephen Hawking so much. Do they know that they know that they know what they are doing. And that's sort of the stage we're at right now. We're getting closer and closer. We think it looks very much like the Higgs, but we're not sure yet. We need to get a little bit closer to be absolutely certain. Ask yourself, how much energy is keeping it together? Neil deGrasse Tyson told co-host Eugene Merman on his Star Talk radio show, then you put more than that amount of energy into the object, it will explode. Now, now, I think I've got your attention. I've quoted two physicists. These are scientists. These men do not agree with what's happening in CERN, Switzerland right now. There is a 17 mile long accelerator that lies 300 feet beneath the surface of the ground. This area is where France and Switzerland come together. So part of this accelerator is located in France and part of it in Switzerland. A large portion of CERN is located in the territory of St. Genus Poli. In Roman times, it was called Apollyacum. The town and the temple were dedicated to Apollyon, the destroyer, Shiva, or Horus. The very city that, that CERN is sitting on is the ancient temple to the god Apollyon. Here we have in CERN, Switzerland, 
a huge wheel. Inside that wheel is a Hindu god, and his name is Shiva. He does a dance of destruction inside that wheel, and his purpose is he is one of the triad gods, one of the greatest gods of Hinduism, Shiva, Vishnu, and Brahma. Brahma is the god of creation. Vishnu is the god of preservation, but Shiva is the god of destruction. The way the Hindu sees it is that when Shiva destroys, it's not for the purpose of annihilation. He destroys so that Brahma can come and recreate. So now when the Hindu, since they're scientists to CERN, they put this out there in front. And so what these people are doing with the collider is destroying what comes together, but for the purpose of recreating and find out what brought it into existence to begin with. Are you following me? Now here we have men that are scientists on an average of an IQ of anywhere from 160 to 200 or even above. These are some of the smartest brains in all the world. No, no question about it whatsoever. I pick up physicists and try to read some of this stuff. I think, good night. Forget me. That's for, a, that's for a brain that is wired that way. No question. But we were told when Darwin's theory of evolution came out and became vogue, that it would destroy the foundations of Christianity. And this old book that we hold in our hands, this old outdated Bible, would no longer be relevant. And a lot of people bought into it. Because after all, Darwin is scientific. But it's an amazing thing now that 150 years later, we have some of the greatest scientists in the world that are becoming very religious. Because here they've got Shiva, they've got dances to Shiva, and they are definitely being connected with Shiva as they're finding things. Let me give you one example. In one of their collisions, when they collided these particles together, they saw things. They were apparitions. They didn't expect to see and they didn't fit in any model. They didn't fit anywhere. They don't belong, but they, they could not deny the reality of it. Something was going on inside there that they could not explain. And it was scary for them. For the scientist has his paper and his pencil and his books. And if it doesn't fit in his paper and his pencil and his books, it's out the window. They don't understand. They have a hard time accepting the fact that there is a spirit world out there. That spirit world was created by a spirit being. An almighty, eternal, absolute being that is from everlasting to everlasting. Who put in me what I am today by the power of Almighty God and by the power of the new birth. Yes, these men and their hypnotized followers call this a new order. It is not new and it is not order. <laughs>